iOS 26 beta 3 versus iOS 26 beta 4. To be specific, it is the beta 4 revised version released to the developers. We will see the quick comparison in this episode. Similar to the previous beta comparisons of iOS 26, I just want to share my opinions and thoughts about how the beta 4 latest revised version overall feels, the performance, the battery drain, and whether you should install the developer beta latest version or not. In our recent episode, we also shared the news about iOS 26 public beta 1 available to all the volunteers volunteers who want to install the public beta on their iPhone or iPad. Based on that, you can decide whether to install it on your device or not. And if you have a confusion to choose between the public beta versus developer beta, we do have a separate episode to explaining the important points that you should know to decide which beta version is suitable for you. So you can see that the beta 3 version and the beta 4 revised version looks exactly the same from lock screen, home screen, the control center the apps navigation and everything it's just the wallpaper i i have on the ios 26 beta 4 running device is changed compared to the previous 26 beta 3 the video that i have shot just last week so three days before apple released the public beta and uh, you know four days before we got the iOS 26 beta 4 revised version and the developer beta feels a lot stable compared to the earlier developer beta versions I have tested and you know reviewed on our channel. The liquid glass design effect further added a little more transparency from the control center and within the music app and wherever you see the buttons the transparency is a little bit more and apple kind of fine-tuned it to make it feel a lot more stable compared to the previous beta versions with initial betas we had frame rate refresh rate drops and you know it was feeling like using a 60 it's a display phone on my iphone 15 pro max which have the 120 it's promotion refresh rate but still due to the you know the bugs in the ios 26 earlier beta versions it was not smooth and it was hanging everywhere you navigate and you know within the apps there are there were few crashes and the phone app itself crashed as i said in our recent episode but with the beta 4 revised version apple have addressed all these issues and everything is running so smooth even though it have very few minor bugs you know with third party apps and few very few system settings related things it kind of feels like i'm using the stable version of ios 26 and apple have more time to fine tune it like every two to three weeks once we are going to see new developer beta and public beta versions based on user feedback within the feedback assistant app apple is going to you know make more fixes and improvements so if you are also experiencing the developer beta or public beta do share your thoughts in the comments below it could be helpful for users to decide you know whether to install it or not from my personal experience the battery drain have been improved a little bit like 20 to 30 percent but it still needs a lot of fixes of course the liquid glass animation effects and a few other things are consuming more battery power and we can expect those fixes in the upcoming betas and before the release of official stable version but it is still there the battery performance is not up to the mark similar to something what i was getting one and a half days for my usage with iOS 18.5 stable version. I didn't experience any network issues, any call failed issues or apps crash, banking apps issues, anything else with the latest iOS 26 beta 4 revised version. So far it is running perfectly fine. If you have decided to install the beta version, I would recommend to go with the developer beta 4 over the public beta version. So do share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.